Back to this episode, we have a new key to try. That's soap. There we go. Not that one. I assume 103 is going to be the last one I can open. Yeah. Hello. I'll take a comb. Intruder, infiltrator, why would you enter without presenting yourself? Oh, I am Okula, the eye from beyond. Behold my beauty. I'm sorry. What a big eye you are. You must see very well. I see everything, nothing less. Can you see my cat? Everything. Your cat? How is it possible that you own a cat? Are you royal? A queen? A princess? Yes. No, I don't own him, but we have a relationship. We're friends. Friends? How lovely. But yes, I did see your cat earlier today. It was crying for help from inside a cage. The bearer of the cage entered Magooka's underground. He's still down there inside the cage. Can you describe the cat you see? Big yellow eyes, pink nose, fur is very dark, black as the deepest night. Yep, that's Mr. Midnight. I'll go find him. Mabuka is asleep. Waking her can end up in disgrace. I'm not afraid of her. Well, feel free to take anything you need from my home. You're very brave, and I respect Baber blah, 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 bravery very much. Thank you, Akuma. I'm Fran, by the way. I'll see you around. Well, I'll grab this. Cool. What's this? A snail? A golden snail. Somebody in there? Maybe the snail is asleep. Shush. Oh. Oh. Well, that, that works. A bottle. A bottle. It's, this bottle is perfect. Okay. Fine by me. Insert button. Oh, I know where a button is. I'll be back. Also, is that a thing? What's this? Um, well, it doesn't look like anything's different. Uh, the button was in this room. I think. Yeah, in here. Hit the button. This one. I can probably cut it loose with a knife. Yep, button. Alright, and back we go. Hmm. You know, I wonder if I could have opened up that thing earlier if I actually knew the passcode for it. Probably not. Okay, button. There you go. And there goes my button. Now what? Probably the lever? Oh. Pliers. It's not a key. At least I hope this can help me somehow. Pliers. Oh. Now well, I have a wire now. Hmm. Okay, maybe the dollhouse again? I honestly don't know. I, we're, we're just balling right now. That looks like something I might need a plier for. Give me that. That's Tesla. Just made a thunder. He was thunderous man, Thunderman superhero. <laughs> okay, well, Albert. Oh, Albert Einstein. Okay, well, that's neat. Hmm. Hmm. Guess I need to go back through here. What can I use a wire for? Use pliers on you? No? Oh. Oh, Mr. Skull, you have flesh left on you. 
My kitty would like to chew that off you. Would you like to be eaten by my kitty? Okay, um... Oh! Mabuka Mabuka, wake up Mother Mabuka. The horn child is playing with the light. The Volka is angry and shining too bright. Mother Mabuka, wake up, wake up, and give up the child before the darkness ends. In the hand of the light, Mabuka must wake up. Let's build the ecog clock on the back of the giant cat. Too strong are the bubbles, and too bright the light, she cried. Me, Mabuka, the mother of darkness, will open the heart. Open my heart. Please take my little horned evil child and shut down the lights. Designed by Cogwind. Cogwind, isn't that the, um... Hmm. Oh, it has... Oh, I'm, I'm probably supposed to find this way earlier. Well, this actually helps me a bit. A bottle of water. So I need to find water. An empty case. A working bulb. Wake-up clock. Bottle with water, soap bar, one glove, piano keys. Huh. I can get water from your tub, right, buddy? Mind if I uh, get a scoop of that? Can I not, like, get a scoop of your bathtub? Oh. That's just as good. Nice. What's next? So we have water, we need one glove, piano keys, wake up clock, working bulb, empty case. Hmm. Uh oh, I can't interact with it. Hmm. So I'll go through here. Well. Can't touch that. Hmm. Excuse me. A working bulb? No. I might have gloves in here. And does that count as a case? Aha! Yes, that counts as a case. I don't see any gloves though. Wait, the other chick had them. She had gloves. Can I find another way back there? I don't have another key yet, though. Hmm. This mirror is transparent. Cool. Hope you find your cat friend. Soon I see him inside the cage. Okay, what does this even do, though? Oh! Oh, I get it. Boom. I'm smart. Okay, so that's... Some of them. So I need a wake-up clock, one glove, and a piano key. Huh. All right. Glove over here. Wake up clock. Hmm. Now. Huh. Well, how do I get in there? The pliers? Maybe. Supplies on keys call. Fran! You could have just grabbed the key. I'm so sorry, Mr. Skeleton. I didn't know Fran was that psychotic. Okay, well, I'm assuming it's not the giant bloody door. I thought so. Well, 
I'm gonna take this. Wake up clock, perfect. It's tightly tied. Well, I have a knife. Thank you. That leaves one item left. Two items. A one glove and piano keys. Um. Back of the giant cat. That must be something important. Hmm. Mr. Midnight looking cat. Oh, thank you. Oh, a glove. Why don't you big? Oh, sweet. That leaves only the piano keys. I assume I gotta go up here for that? Yeah, yeah. Hello. You look unique. What do I not need? <sighs> I need... Mm. Oh, a brush! Boom! A great? I don't know. Hair comb? What is that? Wanna try it? Your hair very pretty and smooth. Would you like to try? I don't know, is it dangerous? It would be very nice. Pleasant. If you do it smoothly. Alright, let's try. Alright, just promise you won't burn me, okay? I'd only burn if I was in danger. Be gentle and nothing will happen. Okay, I'll be gentle. Well, very kind of you. It worked. It's happening to me. I never expected anything like this before. But how? You're a Lucifern. All Luciferns I've met do this all the time. Really? Well, thank you very much. It feels incredible. I feel like I need to fly away. Groovy. Now... Hmm. Well... I... No? Oh, oops. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. oh. Balloons? Hmm. The wire? The knife? coming from inside of you. I guess I won't tell. Well then. Huh. Do I have everything I need for this? <sighs> I see the key. But I need... What else do I need for it? Piano keys. I'm assuming that's through the final door, so... That key. Is it just something super obvious that I'm missing? I can smell it. But I can't reach it from here. What do I do? The grabomatic would work here, but I don't. Hmm. Huh. I wonder why, but that sounds semi specific. Trying to tell you, want to help you? I uh, guess not. Maybe back here. I want to lay on this bed ever again. 
Hmm. Coat hangers? No. This thing? No, I can't even touch that. The scarfs? No. What's that? Tiny sock for my tiny feet. This is a thing of rocks. Oh, what's this? Ew, it has cat hair all over it. <sighs> uh, Grabomatic. Nothing I can use in here, I don't think. Okay, what have I not touched in this room? I don't think I've touched these slippers. I use them when it's raining, and I can't go outside. Mr. Midnight's bed. I can almost hear him purring. Oh, a shelf. Crayons, lady, gnome, teddy bear, junk, junk, junk. Hmm. Okay. Buddy, do you have like a thing I can use to reach something? No. Yeah, nothing. Hmm. Oh, coat hanger? Towards clothing. But then where is he? Are you somewhere near? Huh. You can just imagine him without clothes. I wouldn't want to, he's a skeleton. Hmm. Nothing there. Oh. No, I need to... Examine! Nothing of any use here. I'm starting to think that whichever one is Aunt Grace killed the other one. And the parent didn't get the kid. Hmm. Hey, buddy, you got a handy old grab -a matic around? Any chance? No? Huh. I'm honestly lost again. Hmm. One second. Someone just texted me. And it's not loading. Um, I'm gonna go back over here. Why? Message him. I'm just gonna search it up. I, I think I'm just like stupid right now. Like, really, what am I supposed to do? Hmm. Nothing is here for me to touch. 
this looks right. Big cat bro. I need a stick from the corridor. Is that this one? says I need a stick from the corridor. Huh. I'm honestly confused here. Because this thing is telling me I need to grab a stick from the corridor. But if this is a corridor, there's nothing here. Unless this is the corridor. reading the wrong thing. What? Oh, wait. Those water balloons I need to fill with... I'm stupid. I said there were Kamalas somewhere, but I haven't seen them yet. I think it said something about a window, so maybe I can look for windows like this one. I'm smart. Never mind. Hmm. There's a window in here, I think. Yeah, windows. Oh. Oh. I can hit you with that, I suppose. Goblamo. Well, I still have two. How did you miss that bad? Fran! Come on, left, Fran. Thank you. Oh, wow, I didn't feel the sadness anymore. Thank you. Don't worry about it. I'm happy you feel better. I do feel better. Let me give you something in return. Sick. Okay, sweet. There, a piece of me. You can plant it if you like. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, sir. I have to go. I must find my cat. How do you find it? See you around. <laughs> I don't know what to believe in this game anymore. This is just getting weirder and weirder. But, now I have a stick, I might be able to use the stick to grab the, the key. And then with said key, I'll probably be able to find the piano keys. Boom. Rad. Now I have the key for room 103. And then, I'll probably find the piano. Boom. Oh, hey, Tree, how are you? Little girl in Mabuka's den. Always die. Well, that's kind of rude. Oh, is this Mabuka? Uh oh. Well, um. 
Hmm. I have the feeling I'm not supposed to be here yet. Piano from the dollhouse? I thought I couldn't react interact with that. Like I thought I just moved it. Hmm. Huh. I could have swore I moved that. No, I did move it because it was over here and I moved it over here. Oh wait. Did I move it? Well, I think I have everything now. In the back of the cat. So I guess I gotta throw this all into the cat and do something. <sighs> do it all by hand. A water bottle, alarm, cord, soap, bag. And key. Trying things out is good, but that won't. Ah, I hit the cat's face. There. Um. Thank you. Well, that's probably what I need. Ecog clock. Okay. Well, let's hop in and. Uh, Mabuka's heart. Okay. Oh. Ah, beware of Mabuka. The awakened darkness arises from the unknown. I'm sorry to wake you, Mother Mabuka, but I need a favor. Can somebody tell me who this creature is? Quite insolent for such a tiny body. I can answer that myself. Excuse me, but I can answer that myself. I'm Fran Bo, human girl, 11 years old. I'm very brave. So wait, that birthday was actually her birthday. So, you know, a human in Buka's den. That's amusing. Who brought you here? That would be Ramor. I think he's your son, isn't he? Did my son manage to enter your head already? You mean like cutting my head open? I don't think so. Did you drink or eat some sort of reddish potion or bean? bean. My pills looked like red beans, so yes, I did a whole bottle. And I cannot use violence against you. The power has been unleashed. I hope you find beneath the ground the truth you seek. Thank you, but what power has been unleashed, can you tell me? The power inside you, don't you know? You were selected by the five realms of essential existence to be the keeper of the key. The five realms of existence, existential existence, were created parallel with time. What? What are you talking about? The Keeper of the Key? Who told you that? The Great Volkus from the Primeve told us everything a long time ago. The people were be human by the Son of Darkness after feeding from the Red Seed. Oh, hunted by the Son of Darkness after feeding from the Red Seed. But you're too young, I must say, too young indeed to be Keeper of the Key. There's something about you. Did something obscure happen to you? I think Remor killed my parents, Mother Mabuka. Can you imagine how that feels? I am all those feelings, Rambo. I am everything sinister, all the darkness you can imagine. I feed from the tears and sorrows, from the desperation and fear. Then you don't care if Remor killed my parents. I thought you were nice. I'm curious to know the reason, if that makes you feel better. Mm, excuse me. Yeah. Now I understand. It's the reason itself the truth you're seeking. Go on, Keeper of the Key. Be brave now. I'll open my heart to you. Oh, well, I was not expecting that to the second date. <laughs> huh? 
This is, um, I don't know what I was really expecting. A door? Locked. Oh, that creature's body is made out of baby faces. The bath boy said something about this. I think it's the hijacker. Oh, that's, oh, okay. Do I know you from somewhere? You look like something, you took something from me, didn't you, you little thief? That's my knitting needle, eh? Did you stab all your friends with it? What? A knitting needle? Are you the dead nurse I saw back in Oswald Asylum? You took... Do I look dead to you, you little beast? Take a number, would you, and wait your turn. In the waiting room. But Miss Nurse, I don't need medical attention, I just need to find my kitty. Take a number and wait. I won't repeat myself. Fine. <laughs> Seven. Gonna go? Oh, sweet. Don't tell me this is- oh, it's the waiting room. Oh, I wonder how long I have to wait. Now, hours? Maybe days? I've been waiting for a week now. How long has everyone else been waiting? I've been waiting for like a month. But I have number two, so it must be my turn very soon. I've been waiting for three and a half weeks. Totally hopeless. Excuse me, everyone, but there's a way to make things go faster. Yes, become a doctor yourself. That would be faster. By doing that, you could also help us out. All of us. But why don't you become a doctor yourself, then? I can't, because I feel very sick. I can't. My R I has been blinded? Huh? I have this broken horn, you see. I can't be a doctor. I have to be a patient. Neither can I. I've lost my ability to frighten myself in front of the mirror. Well, I'm not sick at all. Please let me go before you all, okay? I can't. I don't even know what illness I have. That's why I'm here. Do you feel pain? How can you not know? Do you feel pain anywhere? It's a very hard question. Make it softer. How can I do that? Yeah, I'm gonna make a question. Have you tried... Pulling your eyes off. It helps sometimes. Impossible to talk with you. Sense with any of you. Of course you can't make sense of us. You're not one, the one who sees it all. You've only known us for a few minutes. It's a very little time to understand it all. True. But it would be nice if to use some sense, some common sense. Why? What does common sense have to do that uncommon senses don't? Well, it helps to better understand each other. We understand each other very well, with our uncommon senses anyway. Yeah, we actually do. We do respect the differences. Who sees all then? Yeah, who's the one that- you mean Mabuka? No, Mabuka knows everything. It's not the same as seeing everything. No, I want to wait because talking won't make the waiting go faster. Huh, alright, thanks for nothing. Huh. Hmm. Okay, it's my turn. Yep. Okay, so that doesn't help. Hmm. Hmm, maybe I can... A clock. Oh. That must be the number display. Do you see the screen? I have number two. It's almost my turn. Hmm. Okay, I think my horn won't grow again. It would be very something. And waiting is was fun at the beginning, but now it's just boring. Wait. On a switch? I like to help you, but it's my turn to help myself, so now. Fair enough, I guess. How about you? You want to switch? Possible to exchange our tickets? I number seven. No, really, I'm not interested. Hmm. It'd be possible to exchange our tickets? I number seven. It's not very convenient for me. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Trickery. Oh. Um, 
all. That's no. Okay. Hmm. No, well, maybe I can blam out. No. Lovely. Doubt you're gonna do it. Can you see the screen? I have number two. It's almost my turn. Exchange your tickets. It would be possible to exchange our tickets. I have number seven. No. What if I find out what illness you have? Will you tell me? Sure. <sighs> oh, wait. I can just ask Mother Mabuka. She probably knows. Right? That would be sensible. Mother Mabuka. Creature from above, get out of Mabuka's den. I don't want to talk to you. Wake up, Mabuka. Excuse me, but I'm looking for my cat. I need to wake up, Mabuka. Just Mabuka? Mother Mabuka. To you, arrogant little infant. And how did you plan to wake her up, eh? With the crazy ideas of Cogwin? Yeah, Cogwin's not crazy. He's a nice clockmaker. So you know him. I assume you've been in debt. There's a horrid place, I say. Too dazzling. I want to go there again. It's exactly where I want to go after I find my kitty. Good for you, you fragile little mind. We'll be safer there with all those boring creatures. I'm going now, you wicked tree. My kitty's waiting for me. Please wake up, Mother Mabuka. Come on. Hmm. I talk to you. Okay. He doesn't even know what he has. Goat. Big floaty eye, tell me something. Ugh, useless. All of y'all are useless. And just generally rude. Can I get more tickets? I just took a number. I mean, there was another option there, so maybe I can uh, just tell him to give me his ticket. Force him. Let's imagine. Give me your ticket, boy. Give it to me now, boy. You don't know what little old rainbow Dagonot will do when she's angry, boy. No, I need to know if I'm in pain. What if I find out your illness? Will you give me your ticket then? Sure, if I'm still here when you come back. Hmm. There's anything in here though. Also, I thought that name sounded familiar earlier. Okay, maybe that'll help. Hmm. You, tell me what that guy's sick with. <sighs> what am I supposed to do? Sight? They listen, they see, they touch. In a way, I feel like I'm back in Oswald Asylum. But that can't be, or can it? Hmm. Maybe that's the trick to finding out how he's sick? Right? <sighs> this must be a number display. I have number seven. I don't think ages to get there. Number like number two. I'm going to make you hurt. <sighs> so your horn there. Too bad this one. Just cut your other horn off. Hmm. Okay. How much time do I got? So thirty nine minutes in. Okay. got a, a flu shot and all that junk, and oh, you always forget how sore it makes your arm. 
and I didn't know I was getting two shots. I was going in there thinking I was just going to get the flu shot, and I was like, eh, I'm fine with that. It's just kind of meh. Like, I, I have a fear of getting shots, so uh, not the biggest needle person, so... That was already bad enough getting one, but if we get into the parking lot of the pharmacy, right? Me and my family are getting out of the car. We're all going in, and he's like, okay, we got all our stuff to take our shots. And they list the shots that they're going to get, and I'm thinking, two? Uh, aren't we only getting one? Oh, no, <laughs> yeah, we're getting two. Bad way to spring it on someone who's scared of getting shots. Like, my goodness. <laughs> Yeah, my arm is like for real killing me. Okay, well, it's gonna be something I can do if Mabuka won't help me. Bath Boy probably won't help. I don't think you helped. Big guy, what are you? Big guy, big guy, big guy. Haha, friend, I remember you. You see everything. Excuse me, I need your help. Of course you do. What can I do for you? Patient trouble. Can you tell me what illness the creature who has number two suffers from? He's in the waiting room, waiting. Let me see. I see him, but from what I see, it's not really an illness. Just a headache caused by low levels of agony. Oh, but is it possible to help him somehow? I need his ticket. Yes. Crying all the tears you can cry till you fill this bottle. We'll do it. But don't forget the tears must be caused by real sorrow. That won't be a problem. It's very problematic. <laughs> a very problematic point in my life. I thought everything was going to be better when Kitty and I got home. But everything is so confusing. Aunt Grace is totally crazy. Talking to you was horrible. I really trusted her, you know? I don't know what to do now. Mabuka said that I was selected for something. Uh, Fran crying to the bottle, but she fell asleep again and won't answer my questions. I need my kitty, Mr. Midnight's hugs are the biggest comfort in my life. I just want to find him so we can go back to the thirst and be happy. Mmm, lovely pain, so profound. Oh. <laughs> it might just be me, but that's, uh... That's quite a sight right there. Okay, well, this is a bottle full of your tears. Give it to the critter that has your ticket. Well, thank you, sir. Go now. Time doesn't wait for anybody. Thank you. I'll be going now. Goodbye. Oh, that works. <laughs> My big brain works on mysterious levels. I didn't even figure that out. I think I said big eye and thought, ooh, I know a guy with a big eye. Who is a big eye? Drink my tears, boy. I'm nice and salt. <laughs> Here, drink this. You'll feel much better. Are you trying to poison me? How lovely. Let's see. It tastes like the most profound and darkest licks I've ever tasted. Give me one. Give me more. Give me more. No, leave me alone. You promised to give me the ticket if I helped you. All right, all right, here you go. Thank you. And thank you. Your tears taste absolutely delicious. You're kind of weird, but uh, thank you. Oh, too sweet. Hello, I have a ticket. A bazinga. Hello, patient number two. We're going to do all we can do to save you. Do you have an appointment? Not really, you told me to take a number and wait. Sorry, we don't help sick people without an appointment. I'm not sick, I lost my kitty. I just want to find him. I lost kitty. Don't worry, that's national reaction to your sickness. What? You're lucky, though. Many lose their minds instead. Lucky, but how do I get an appointment, then? Just call me. Here's my card with a telephone number. Okay. Okay. That would be silly, because now I'm waiting for you to call me. Now I need to examine. Should I have taken a picture of that? That might not be good. It's this one down the steps. Yes. I need to take this and boom, telephone. 
Oh, okay, that's good. That's what I need. Zero, one, two, two, one, two, one, seven, two, seven, six. Hello, I'm Frando Dagonard. Oh, uh, you told me to call to make an appointment. Hmm, it's Frando, uh, I'm available now. No, no, uh, no. Yes, I do have a pair of eyes. Really? Okay. I'll see you in a minute. Then, great, great, thank you, bye, yes, bye. Man, Fran is so brave. I'd be bad at making my own appointments. Especially in a nightmare realm. Maybe it's because she's a child. She's taking this all so well. Hello, I have an appointment. Hello, patient number two. Do you have an appointment? Yes, Franbo is my name, and the appointment is now. Let me check the archives. Yes, there you are. The doctor will see you in a minute. Just go through the door on your right. All right, thank you. I guess it's unlocked now. Oh. I'm sorry. Did I scare you? You look quite pale. Ooh, yes, yes, what a nightmare. You look like a healthy human. Oh, thank you, I guess. Now, if you don't mind, I have an appointment. I don't mind, actually, because it's none of my business. <laughs> uh, hey, Remora. Why are you in your mother's heart? You, actually, why are all these things in her heart? You haven't chosen to end your life yet. Isn't the pain you feel enough? You're Remora, aren't you? I haven't had a chance to introduce myself properly, sadly. I cannot be seen in the third reality for long periods of time. I'm Remora, the terrible black prince of darkness, yada yada yada. I know who you are, don't try and act like nothing happened. Did you kill my parents? Where's my cat? What did you do to Dr. Dern? I immensely enjoy seeing your suffering dripping from your eyes. I feed from it. You are the manifestation of my desires. I can use you for whatever I want. You are under my power. It's not true, not anymore. I won't allow you to trick me anymore. Tell me, why did you kill my parents? Why? You're assuming that it was I who did such terrible things? I saw you that night outside my window. It must be you who did it. You trust your eyes too much. Haven't you learned that human receptors are weak? Your body is fragile, easy to corrupt. So... Oh, did you make Fran murder her parents? No, I can't be. Stop it. I didn't do it. I didn't. It wasn't me. Stop it, please. Thank goodness. Oh. Who was it, my darling? Who killed your parents? The dull little critter must suffer and die before becoming a star. Wow. So Fran really is insane. If I didn't kill my parents, I didn't. That monster wants to trick me, I know it. Everybody is crazy around here, I have to find my kitty and leave. I'm really starting to question- I mean, I was already questioning her sanity, but... Oh, Dr. D Mr. Midnight, Dern. A syringe. A syringe that has red fluid inside. What can it be? Might be the duotin. Hey, Mr. Midnight. Kitty, my darling, I'm here for you. Are you alright? Kitty, answer me. What's wrong with you? Meow, meow? Why don't you talk to me, Mr. Midnight? Please, don't do this to me. Purr. Talk to me, Mr. Midnight. This isn't funny. It's this place, isn't it? You must get out of here so you can talk to me again. I'll take you to a thirst, my darling. Palantras can help us. I promise you nothing will tear us apart again. Meow. <laughs> oh, kitty. Kitty, I'll be right back. Must help Dr. Dern, alright? Well, I have a needle. Stabby stab. Heh, maybe this will wake him up. Oh. What was that? Don't worry, Dr. Dern, it's me, Fran. What? I can't see very well. Fran Bo, sir. From Oswald Asylum? We were at the cemetery, remember? Fran, what happened? Why am I tied to his chair? What have you done? 
I'm trying to help you, sir. The big monster brought you brought you here. We must go. Come on, friend. Monsters. I don't believe. I don't feel like playing games. All right. It wasn't a monster at all. Let just let me help you. But what is she doing here? I thought you chained her up. Are but I did. I told you she was a hard one to tame. Do you want me to get rid of her? Get rid of me, Aunt Grace. What are you talking about? Look at this. Who is this old man? How lovely. You sound just like your mother when she was young. My mother? Do you know her? Who are you? I'm Dr. Oswald Harrison. I know everything about you, Fran. Oswald from Oswald Asylum? Yes, Fran, the same old man. Why do you know about my mother and my aunt? Well, many years ago, I was studying the magnificent complexity of the twin siblings. Lucia and Grace were part of my study. Both helped me to find the key to success. The key? Did you know that my mother and father were murdered? Yes, of course. Remora did a great job. His power of manipulation is extraordinary. What I don't understand is how you can be so calm about it. It was you holding the knife, after all. I'm not calm, sir. I knew it was Remora all the time, but why is he hunting me? Remora is the manifestation of your weakness, a blind and powerful manifestation of your fear. But why would a monster kill my parents? Because your parents were interfering with my work. But I actually did you a favor. You're suffering. And pain is connected to growth and strength, Fran. Oswald, please just do what we need to do. Aunt Grace, please don't be mad at me. We're family. Let us go. My kitty and I can find a place to go without bothering you. Please just let us go. Yes, you're right, Fran. I'm sorry for being so hard on you. Come on, let's go now. Get away from Mr. Midnight. I don't trust you holding him. I'm not even going to bother talking to you, Mr. Oswald. Please don't throw Mr. Midnight. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. If there is an option, I will kill every last one of you. Fran, my dear, listen to me. You must know Dr. Oswald only wants the best for you. When Lucia was pregnant with you, he knew you'd be a very special girl. He told us to take good care of you, but your mother betrayed us. She wanted to hide you from us. She thought we wanted to kill you, but that's not true. Dr. Oswald really wants to give you the best. But for that, you must allow him to try a little experiment on you. And then everything will be fine. Of course. But there's still one thing we must take note. Don't you dare. If you do, I will kill you, Grace. This little traitor, you better not. Mr. Midnight. Who just killed Mr. Midnight? Come on, Fran. Stop weeping. The cat is dead now. But he was my friend. You killed my best friend. Yeah. Where's Edward when you need him? He needs, he's gonna have like a shotgun to shoot you with. I, I bet it, it, it would kill you easy. You helped kill my parents, didn't you? Didn't you? How can you live with yourself? I hate you. I hate you. Killer, Fran. Killer. Stop it, Fran. Help, help. Kill, 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 kill. Don't you dare touch Grace, you little monster. You pulled a gun on me. <laughs> Just imagine he had to pull a gun on a child. Um, oh my goodness, she's totally insane. Bring her to me. I'll do the experiment while she's still warm. I need to extract the brain right away. Fran, are you alright? What have you done with her? She tried to kill me. You were right about Fran, Dr. Dern. She was sick. But she's bleeding. Let me take care of her. No, you won't. She's mine now. I've been waiting for this moment for many years. Looking for the right child, the right brain... Now I have her, nothing can stop me. 
What does that sound? Itward. Yeah. Good job, Itward. Save me, buddy. Friend, everything will be fine. Cliffhanger. <laughs>